Hello, I'm Simon with a little review of the Russell Hobbs Master Slow Cooker and Sous Vide. First I'll show you what's in the box. have the cooker itself, a 6 litre ceramic bowl, lid, comes with a temperature probe, instruction manual on the other side of that little recipe book a kind of a quick start guide to sous vide and temperature probe operations a recipe guide two sous vide bags to get you started and the sous vide rack which goes inside there This slow cooker has three main functions. It's a slow cooker for your curries, casseroles, soups and stews. Sous vide for cooking various meats and fish in a vacuum, sealed or even a Ziploc bag. And temperature probe for long slow cooking of larger pieces of meat such as roasts to achieve an exact cooking temperature and a, an even cook. One feature I'm really liking on this unit is the lockable lid, which you put on top, latch down. I won't do it on the other side because it'll block the camera. But anyone with small children or cats will know that having something sturdy that won't easily tip over is a bonus. To operate the slow cooker, have three settings on this side, the warm, keep warm, low temperature and high temperature. And you can also change the time on either of those up to 10 hours. For the sous vide mode, the temperature probe has to be inserted in here and the actual temperature probe goes in the top of the lid down into the water. Then select sous vide mode, default is 60 degrees, that can be changed up or down. And from memory, I think it's about 38 degrees Celsius up to 91 Celsius. Then press the temperature time button. The default setting is one hour for sous vide, but once again, you can go down or up. to set the time you'll be cooking at the temperature you've already set. The sous vide rack is then placed inside the water. Once it reaches the correct temperature, the bag with your meat or fish placed inside the rack. Now you might need something to weigh it down because it's fairly common with sous vide for the items to float around a little bit. Even a wooden clothes peg might work in clamping that tight. For the temperature probe mode, put your meat and or vegetables inside the unit. Then insert the temperature probe using one of three probe holes that are in the lid into the thickest part of the meat or whatever item you're cooking. Then press the temperature probe button. The default setting is 80 degrees. will often be lower than that. Once again, this can be changed your desired temperature. Then when you 
the press start and stop it shows the actual temperature. I've actually put some hot water in there just to demonstrate that the probe is picking up that it's 50 degrees at the moment. Once a meat or other item has reached the desired temperature, uh, a beep sounds letting you know that it's finished. Pretty simple. Overall, I'm really enjoying this cooker. Good sturdy machine, good sized cooking pot, temperature probe for precise control over temperature and the times of cooking. Great lid, lockable lid, very safe. That was not going to fall over in a hurry. I really enjoy it. I'd probably give it 5 out of 5 stars. Thank you very much.